Good morning everyone and welcome to the Trade Talk podcast. On the day of weekly expiry on Thursday, we saw a spectacular rally in the market. It was completely unexpected that the market can cross the level of 25350 so easily. Even though there were spectacular gains in the US, we saw unchanged sort of activity in the morning, but in the second half the market crossed all its important levels and almost all the indices participated in the up move especially large cap companies they did really well reliance itc lever as well as metal companies and it companies participated heavily in this up move so while looking at the entire setup and the overall uh, technical reversal activity we are of the view that now the markets are ready to move towards 26000 levels however all these levels like 25500 25700 going to act as major resistance in between and ideal strategy should be to look for reducing position if we see markets are hitting these levels yes if there is any correction then certainly we should look for adding positions close to 25300 25200 because that was acting as major resistance for the market when the markets were below or around 25000 levels So if there is any correction then certainly we should look for taking some long bets contra bets in this market but at higher levels we need to reduce our long exposure uh stock specific activity is like the best strategy for uh, to be in this market and uh, for bank nifty yes there also we saw uh magical up move uh, it was like um, around 51200 300 levels from there all the way it reached the levels of 51800 by crossing 51500 we are now of the view that bank nifty is also heading for 52500 it has support around 51500 and 600 levels so in case if there is any correction then around this levels look for adding some long positions so bank nifty is also like going to participate in this up move uh, for metal companies there also uh, the activity was uh, much stronger and whenever we we see such type of uh, like uh, specific news flow on the rate cut side that us may cut the rate aggressively then in that case uh, most of the time we see commodities do really well so in that space Hindalco, Jindal Steel and Power, as well as Tata Steel, should be on the watch list along with Vedanta. So these are the stocks from the metal basket on which we are going to focus. From the IT basket, always we recommend HCL Technologies, which is doing really well. After that, Infosys should be on the watch list. And if there is a medium to long term view, then stocks like Kens Technology, CoForge, Persistent, these are the stock on which we need to keep a close watch. Finally, from the uh, FMCG space, we like uh, Hindustan Lever, we like Asian Paints, we like ITC based on their technical formation. So, broader formations are indicating as that these stocks are heading higher. But again, we need to be uh, more and more positional in these stocks instead of taking very short-term bets. That's all from my side. With this, I am ending today's call. Thank you very much for listening, me, and have a great day to all of you.